I had an interesting conversation today with an Arab friend of mine. We actually got into a very heated argument because he got emotional and he couldn't sustain his ration rationality. All right, basically, we had an argument over the fact that he's very religious. He's very, very religious. When it's time to commit to his uh, prayers, as commanded by the Quran, he actually shuts the store down and pulls out his rug and he'll start praying inside of his convenience store. Um, after he finished praying, I actually asked him, hey, how do you feel about the fact that you sell pork and alcohol, which are two items for, forbidden by the Quran? And he got upset with me. He got very angry with me. And my intention wasn't to make him angry. My intention wasn't to criticize him. I was genuinely interested in that struggle, the struggle of being a religious Arabic man, a religious Muslim man who moved to America, and now you're selling the same items that your religion tells you not to sell and not to indulge in you know in his home country of Saudi Arabia it's illegal to sell pork you know it's illegal to sell alcohol so I just asked him hey how do you feel about the fact that the items that make you the most money in your store in your convenience store in America are the, are, I, are the same items that you wouldn't even be able to sell back in your home country. Then I asked him, hey, did you actually move here? Because America has such a loose freedom. There's a loose structure. There is no state religion. There is no Sharia law. You know, we're not guided by uh, religion. America is a country that's been designed for freedom. America is a country that was intentionally designed to not be subservient to a king religion or to the whims of one particular person. America is a country that was designed to offer complete freedom to anybody who wants it. It's a country that allows you to do what you want to do. You know, there are no pro prohibitions, there are no restrictions, and even when America did decide to uh, prohibit alcohol, it only lasted for a few years and eventually America overturned that law. So America was designed for freedom. It was designed to give people total freedom, you know. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's a philosophical thing, you know. For you to be this very devout religious Muslim, but you have to reckon with the fact that tobacco and pork are some of the biggest sellers, the most profitable items in your store, yet in your home country you wouldn't be able to sell them because they're illegal. And they're against your religion. And you yourself don't engage in these products because of your religion. And he basically got angry and stuff like that. And I guess he felt offended. Or he just felt like he was he was probably ashamed. And he just didn't know how to respond. But uh, eventually he calmed down and he told me, hey, I'm in America right now. And that's the reason why we came to America in the first place. Because there aren't any restrictions on certain items. We're able to make a living off items that we weren't able to sell in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has a ban on music or at that point in time when he moved they had a ban on music. You weren't allowed to sell music. You weren't allowed to sell a large variety of things. And when he moved to America with his family these same items that were banned just so happened to be the most profitable items that he began selling. So, you know, I'm not criticizing Muslims you know, I'm not criticizing Muslims who travel from uh, the Muslim world, the Arabic world, to America. You know, like I said, the unique thing about America is it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your life experience is. It doesn't matter what your life experience is. It doesn't matter what your religious identity is. It doesn't matter how you view yourself sociologically. Uh, sociologic, sociologically, you know, you can be who, you can be anybody, you know, you can be a part of any ethnic group, you can be any race, you can believe in any faith, you can be, you know, any sort of gender, and you're American, you know, as long as you agree with the concept of America, the freedom of America, then you're an American, and that's why America is such a great country, because it's a country that offers complete freedom. It's a country that doesn't require you to be of any particular identity. You know, I mean, American isn't a race. It isn't an ethnic group. It's an idea. It's a concept. You know, it's a it's a title that was created for people who love the things that America represents. So.
you know, I was just interested in that conversation. You know, black people, we love pork. Pork is a very big part of our diet, for good or bad. But we aren't selling that to ourselves, you know, because we don't really own the stores in our community, especially the convenience stores. So it's just interesting that a group of people whose religion tells them not to indulge in these items just so happen to be selling them to us and it just so happens that these items are their most profitable products alcohol pork tobacco and they're not even able to sell these things in their home country because they're illegal so it's just an interesting thing i'm not trying to offend anybody i just think that's an interesting concept peace